So is your forehand not improving? No matter how many YouTube videos you watch, no matter how many lessons you take, you still can't get the forehand to where you want to be. Hey guys, it's Tyler Strike at Tennis with Tyler, and today we're going to be going over reasons why players can't improve their forehands, why they plateau and they can't keep going on an upward trend. Now, a lot of players, they think in order to hit the forehand, they just use their arm. Again, a lot of players when they're hitting or when they're beginning in tennis, they just think to use their arm. So a lot of players hit their forehands and they look like this. Notice when I do that, I'm not going to have any power. I'm using all arm, no rotation. And rotation, everyone, is how you get power. So the first thing I encourage all of you to do if you're struggling with improving your forehand is to make sure you are turned every single time. Now, how do we ensure that we are turned every single time when we hit? This is perfect. If I'm a right-handed player, okay, so I'm right-handed, do the opposite for lefties, is instead of taking my racket back with my dominant hand, I'm going to push the racket back with my non-dominant hand. Again, so when I go to hit, I'm not going like this to hit, I am going like this. Once again, I am going like this. I am pushing the racket back with my top hand. Why do I do that? It's a great way to ensure that you turn because look, when I push it back with my top hand, that's going to ensure that I'm turned when I hit and I will be able to rotate every single time. Now the next thing that a lot of players do wrong, they don't follow through. Remember, in tennis to gain control, you have to give up control. The more you let the racket work for you, the less you work for the racket, the better it is going to be. A lot of players, they're starting out, they're learning, they're improving, and they're not following all the way through. So they're swinging like this. They're swinging like this, okay? They're stopping their racket. If you want to take your forehand to the next level, you need to follow through every single time. And I tell a lot of my students that work with me and they're new with me, they're like, Tyler, I make the ball every single time when I stop the racket. Yes, you'll make the ball every single time when you stop the racket, but you will never, this is going to be the ceiling of your skill level. You're never going to improve your forehand any more than this because you don't allow yourself to follow through. Now, leading into that, and this is why a lot of players struggle with their forehands as well, is because they don't adjust the racket face. So if you don't follow through because you're afraid of getting the ball in, it's either A, because you're holding the racket too tight, you need to hold it loose, right? And B, it's because your strings are probably open. A lot of players play with a continental grip, which just means straight, like a hammer, right? No tilt on the racket, or they keep their strings open. Notice, when I make contact with the ball and my strings are open, where is the ball going? The ball is going so high in the air, it's going out of the park, it's going to be a home run. So instead of keeping your strings open, make sure you tilt your strings down when you hit. You take the racket back and you tilt your strings down prior to contact. Look, palms facing down, strings are facing down. I'm like patting something and then I'm going to be able to hit. That's also going to ensure that you hit topspin. Now the next thing, and I can't stress enough, even if you feel good with your forehand, this is going to make it better. You're going to keep your head down while you hit. Too many players, what they do, they have an amazing forehand, but it's super inconsistent because they keep their head going up to see where the ball is. We all wanna see where the ball is, right? Where did the ball go, where did it go? Well, you don't wanna look where the ball went right after contact. Watch, a lot of players that go like this, and I'm exaggerating, but a lot of players, they hit, ah, oh, where'd it go? And then they lose control, watch. I wanna hit, I wanna keep my head down, follow through, and then pick my head up. There's videos of Rafa Nadal, YouTube it, or I'll put the link in the description, but I never actually do. I always forget to put the link in the description, but you'll see Nadal make contact with the ball. He'll keep on following through and his eyes are literally still down. And then he's looking over here and it's like his eyes are popping out of his socket. So make sure you keep your head down. Now leading into that is you need to keep your body down. If you don't keep your head down, and if you don't keep your body down, you're gonna have an inconsistent forehand. So a lot of players, what they do is that they hit and they go off the back foot, or they hit and they move to the side, or they hit and they're falling over. You wanna keep your body short and compact. So when I hit, I don't wanna be moving all the time. I wanna hit and keep my body down and forward every single time. Again, I wanna hit and body down and forward. Now, how do we ensure that we can keep our body down and forward every single time? It is super easy. Instead of being straight up, super tall, right? All you're going to do is lower your center of gravity. 
by lowering my center of gravity, look, that's going to force me to be a little bit shorter, and now I'm going to be able to really get in my legs and have proper balance. So that is the next thing. Now, the last thing that I encourage every single one of you to do is make sure that you get in the proper position. A lot of players are struggling with their forehand. They're struggling developing their forehand because they don't have proper contact. In, with a forehand, you wanna make sure your contact is out in front and away from your body. Once again, you wanna make sure that your forehand is out in front and away from your body. It's not here, it's not here. No, it is out in front and away. So what does that mean? A lot of players, they hit the ball super late, right? And the reason why is because the ball's coming, they wait, they turn, and then they get the ball super late. Instead of doing that, you're gonna take your racket back first, and now you're going to be able to make sure that when the ball's coming, instead of taking it back and getting it late, now your racket's already taken back, you're going to be able to make contact out in front. So make sure that you hit that ball earlier. And if you can't make contact down front because the ball's super high, what are you going to do? You're not going to move back and try to hit something like that. You're going to turn, you're going to adjust your feet, you're going to get in a proper position, and then you're going to be able to make contact with your forehand. If you guys can use these tips, you guys will be able to get over the forehand plateaus that you are going through. I hope this video saved you thousands of hours of watch time. Make sure to check out my other videos. Make sure to click the link on the Instantly Improve My Forehand eBook. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. And make sure if this video helped you or if you didn't like anything in this video, please let me know in the comments below. Have a good one, guys. Keep on working, and I'll see you on court.